Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a China-based mobile DDoS attack. Cloudflare, which is a hosting and DDoS company, released a blog post today talking about a new browser-based DDoS attack. Now, a browser-based DDoS attack is when an attacker uh, injects some malicious JavaScript or HTML5 in a website. And if they can get you to visit that website, they can redirect your device so that it takes part in a DDoS attack against some victim. In the past, this has mostly been a theoretical attack, but Cloudflare says one of their customers suffered just such an attack. Basically, they found a website that had some malicious JavaScript, and if a device visited this website, it would redirect that device to send traffic to this DDoS victim. Now, they've also found some other interesting information. For instance, almost 100%, over 99% of the devices used in this attack were based in China. On top of that, 80% of the traffic used in this DDoS attack were from mobile devices. They also looked at the browsers used in the attack and found that they were primarily browsers that are popular in China. So long story short, a lot of mobile devices in China were tricked into going to a website that actually cause them to DDoS Cloudflare's customer. Now, the one thing that Cloudflare does not know is how the bad guys, how the attackers got these devices to go to this malicious uh, DDoS redirecting website. Now, they do suppose that it could be adware. Perhaps there's some malicious advertising going around in China, and if you went to a web page that had this adware, that's how your device got tricked into this DDoS attack. In any case, Cloudflare doesn't know for sure how these devices are getting enticed to go to this malicious website. But they are seeing that this is a perfect example of a website forcing browsers to do a DDoS attack. And it's really interesting to see mobile devices taking part in this. In any case, I recommend you check out the blog post. It has a lot of interesting technical detail. So what's the practical takeaway here? Well, in the past, I've recommended plugins like NoScript for Firefox. And there's things you can do in Chrome, which are going to deny active scripting languages like JavaScript by default. This prevents you from becoming a pawn in a DDoS attack. On the flip side, there's a lot of legitimate sites that use JavaScript too, so you need to have some whitelisting functionality to allow those sites. In any case, you might want to consider NoScript for Firefox. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.